Good morning and welcome to Morning at NTV. My name is Idris Matu and this is Everyday Life. Now, Finca Uganda, a financial institution in Uganda today, is celebrating 25 years in existence. And they're saying, hey, we love our customers and we are giving back with an educational fund that will see students who have not had a chance to continue with school at campus or university continue and achieve their educational uh, priorities. Now in studio, I have the executive director, Mr. Robert Kakande. You are welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Idris. And Simon Ahimbisiwe, head of marketing, my brother. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, I'll start uh, with, uh, with you, Simon. What is Finca Uganda? Because some people might say, is it uh, about loaning money only? Or is it a bank bank in the sense of it? What is Finca Uganda? OK, thank you, Idris. Mm. And uh, a good morning to the viewers. Um, Finca Uganda is uh, a microfinance deposit taking institution. Mm. Actually, the first one in Uganda to be licensed by Bank of Uganda to take deposits. Um, we started operations in Uganda in 1992, okay. and uh, we started from Ginger. And uh, we actually, when we look back, we are very excited to see that we still have those clients that mm. have been with us for all these for years. Over yeah. 25 yeah. years. Yeah. It's yeah. a long time. It's, yeah. It's actually <coughs> last year mm. that we marked 25 years. So okay. this is our 26th year. All right. You're yeah. growing old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, in uh, Finca Uganda is, is, is part of uh, a global network mm. of about 20 other uh, microfinance institutions and mm. also banks, you mm. know, in some countries, Finca is actually a bank. So Finca is not only in Uganda, it's but it's an international... Uganda. Yes, uh, we have our headquarters in the U.S., oh, uh, in wow. Washington, D.C., mm. and uh, we operate now as, uh, uh, you know, initially it was Finca International, mm. but now it has since uh, divided into two. So the Finca International uh, forms our social uh, kind of you know um, uh, organization mm. that deals in social activities in mm. uh, mobilizing funds to have uh, like a charitable farm mm. arm mm. of the organization then we have what we call the Finca impact finance mm. you know now that's what is driving the commercial arm of the organization so of the network so Im Finca impact fa finance is yes, that yes is that a, a different sect from the bank or now all the banks and financial institutions, including Finca Uganda, now report directly to the Finca mm. Impact Finance. Yeah. All right. And now the, fi the, the Finca International is only involved in now charitable, you know, acts. Mm. You know. Yeah. So that's now the divide. But it's one network. It's one network. Yes. And uh, we operate, uh, as I said. Uh, in 20 countries, mm. yeah, and uh, in Africa we are in six countries. Which which are? Uh, we are in uh, Zambia, All right. uh, Malawi, uh, DRC, mm. Congo, mm. Uh, Nigeria, uh, Uganda, and Tanzania. Tanzania. All right. Yes. Now, for 25 years, you've yeah. lasted in Uganda yeah. since 1992. 92 seems like <laughs> sometime mm. yesterday, yeah. but it is 25 years. Yes. Uh, how many branches do you have in Uganda? Uh, in Uganda, we operate a network of 27 branches. Yeah, oh, wow. fledged mm. and well networked, mm. and these are well spread across the country. Yeah. In which districts? Uh, if I may ask. Almost in in all in all regions, I can mm. say oh, we yes. are in the west mm. uh, as far as Kabale. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in the in the north as far as Gulu yeah. and Lira. Then mm. in West Nile, mm. Arua and Koboko even. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the east, uh, Mbale and Busia. Mm. Then you come back to Kampala. To Kampala. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, so, uh, <coughs> so many people know Finca Uganda for, for their loans. Yeah. yeah? Do you ha provide any other services apart from loans? Because I understand Finca Uganda is about helping small businesses to get there. Do you offer any other services? Can I just open up an account and say mm. I have an account in Finca? Mm. Uh, yes, Idris. Uh, uh, Finca Uganda uh, was the very first microfinance deposit taking institution to be mm. licensed mm. and regulated by the central bank. Mm. So what that means is that uh, apart from the loans that we give, mm. uh, we take uh, customer deposits. Mm. So we take customer deposits, we do uh, money uh, transfers, 
and we have a, a host of other uh, banking services that mm. we offer in addition to the loans. Okay, well, Mr. Robert, uh, yes. it's been 25 years. Yes. Surely. You've made quite some good money. Yes. <laughs> and this education fund that you're giving back to your customers, mm. tell me more about this. I think this is uh, an exciting time for us. Uh, mm. 25 years is a big milestone. Uh, we've been around for 25 years. Mm. We've been supported by the communities in which we operate. Uh, we've given back to the community. Uh, last year, we, as, we said, as we were celebrating the 25 years, we did the number of activities uh, relating to the 25 years that we've been serving in Uganda. We went to orphanages, we, we went to schools, mm. we did road safety campaigns, and we did a host of things across all our branch uh, networks. Uh, this year, in addition to what we did last year, we are saying we want to contribute to the education mm. of our country. What we are following uh, the words of the late Nelson Mandela. He said, if you want to change the nation, mm. education is the best tool in which you're going to change the nation. Mm. So we think that this uh, scholarship fund is going to help uh, our people, especially the communities that we operate. I think our Uganda targets are the lower end of the market, the lower low income earners, uh, so to say. So the low income earners have challenges when it comes to educating uh, the, the children that they have in their families. So we realize that uh, tertiary institutions are, are the most expensive compared to the primary and uh, secondary education. And this is where we realize that there is a gap. Mm. Because if I give uh, some statistics, uh, out of the 8.7 uh, pupils that are enrolled in primary, uh, out of those only 17% to make it to the secondary school. Mm. And uh, out of that, uh, barely 10% uh, make it to institutions of higher learning. So we think this is where the gap is, and we want to contribute uh, by these uh, uh, 10 scholarships that we are giving to our people. Mm. So the fund has been dubbed uh, Plus 10 yes. Education Fund. Yes. Uh, and I'll go back to you, Simon. What's the criteria that you are following to give out the, the funds, the scholarships? OK, thank you, Idris. Mm. Um, well, plus 10 itself means uh, we are adding 10 more students to the, you know, mm. enrollment mm. to tertiary institutions. Mm. As Robert said, uh, less than 5% actually make it to the tertiary institutions, mm. Uh, mm. you know, compared to the enrollment at primary. Well, uh, well yeah. the government yeah. provided yeah. PL, uh, yeah. what, what uh, do UPE. you call it? <laughs> UPE. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should but now so. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. uh, so uh, the first is, uh, these have to be clients of Thinker Uganda, mm. the beneficiaries. In, I, in what capacity it, do I have to be a client? Yes. Um, by a client, it means someone who has an account. Because okay. even if you're going to access credit, yeah. you have to first of all. What if I'm a well wisher, same one? <laughs> <laughs> you have to have an account. Yeah, you, you have, have to, to walk the talk. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay uh, so these have to either be. Uh, existing clients of mm. Thinker Uganda, mm. or their parents. You know, we have some youth who are actually uh, 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 our clients. I have accounts? Yes. What's the limit age uh, for no. me to open up an account? Is there a limit? No, because we even have uh, kids' the accounts. Kids. Oh, kids accounts. wow. Yes. Nice. Yeah. So you have to be uh, a client of Thinker, or mm. your parent must mm. be one. So before, before we continue, uh, you've established that I have to have be an a client yes. and they have to have an account with the bank. Yeah. Something interesting is that so many people do not know the available accounts mm. that probably you have at Finca. Okay. Yeah. So you've told me you have an infant yes, account. Yes, child account. Can yes. you tell me more about that? It's called Finca Junior. Uh -huh. um, uh, are you married? Do you yeah, have no, a no, kid? No, no. <laughs> 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 Not yet, Simon. Eh? Yes, so uh, for those who have children, yeah. uh, you know, even if, uh, you, you know, your wife gave birth last mm. night, mm. Uh, you could, <laughs> yeah, you could just get us a picture yeah. and you come and open on their behalf. So you are running the mm. account on their behalf. But mm. it's, yeah. So, <laughs> yes. okay, this is interesting. Yes. Now, I open up an account for my baby. Yes, yes. you start saving for them. For them. Yes. Yeah. 
you yes. operate really the account prudent. on their behalf. Their yeah. It's a very prudent way yeah, to yes. operate the account yes. on their behalf. Okay. And the beauty is that uh, we don't charge any any money on that mm. account. For but the rather infant. we give interest on mm -hmm. the account. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, if you have just joined us, I am here with uh, people from Finca Uganda, and they are giving out. 10 scholarships to students in tertiary institutions. Now, if you are a customer of Finca Uganda, you stand a chance. Now, stick around and get to know more details on how you can get a scholarship for yourself. Yeah. Now, we have talked about the account, the infant account. Yes. Are there any other special accounts that I can open up with Finca? Yeah, uh, we also have the youth account. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's called Smart Start. Smart Start. Yes. Yeah. What's so that? We want you to start early. Start mm. saving early. So it's a know. savings account. It's a savings mm. account mm, right. for the youth. Mm. Uh, we also have uh, accounts which uh, uh, we want to help you, uh, you know, achieve your goal. Mm. Yeah, could be a medium term goal, mm. and you save. Uh, you, you can only withdraw once a week, mm. and that accrues uh, four percent interest oh, per wow. annum from yeah. Finca. Yes. Yeah. Nice. So you're withdrawing only once a week. Mm. So we, we want to help you achieve your goal. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we also have fixed deposits where you, you could come and, uh, you know, give us your money mm. if you have, say, like, five million, mm. even if it's a hundred thousand. Is that thousand, the, the opening amount? No, no, no. <laughs> 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 our opening account amount is only 10,000 oh, for all our okay. accounts. Okay. I, yes. I was getting a heart yes. attack. I was saying now. <laughs> <laughs> no. 10,000 so, only. Yeah. yeah. So fixed is, is where you, s you fix uh, a, a certain amount of money for mm. a, s a specified period of mm. time. And um, say, if I want to save yes, this money yes. for 10 years, yes. I'm not touching it. Exactly. Okay. Even if it's one month or two mm, months mm. or three it, months. It earns interest. It earns mm. more interest. Four percent, you say it. Four yeah. percent. No, no, no. That's, that's, huh? that's for, for the, the, the Finca target. Ah. Yeah. Yes. Fixed deposit actually earns much more much than more. that. Yes. What percentage? Uh, as, as high as 11%. Uh, 11%. As 11 percent, yes, yeah. depending on how Viewers, much you're fixing. Open up an account well. in yeah. Finca. 11%. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Uh, then, of course, we have um, mm. the other transactional accounts. Mm. And uh, we have an ATM card, so you can access your money. Uh, actually, we are a member of InterSwitch. Mm -hmm. Currently, InterSwitch has uh, more than 200 uh, ATM locations yeah. Uh, yeah. for because it has more than 12 banks on it. No issues of lining up, yeah. it's a long yeah. line. Yeah. You know. Or where yeah. I'm going, there's yeah. no, there's no Finca, Finca Bank, time. branch. A ATM. Yeah. 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 So you can always access your money across the country okay. nice. uh, using nice. other member banks of InterSwitch. All yeah. right, so we have established that one criteria to enter the ten, the plus 10 education fund yeah. is you have to be a customer, have all these accounts. Yes. Is there any other criteria? Uh, yes, of course. Mm. Um, uh, you have to be uh, admitted to the university mm. or tertiary institution. Yeah. Uh, Already. Yes. You, mm -hmm. you should be having an admission form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we are talking about uh, children who maybe got admissions last year but couldn't make it mm. to the university because of lack of tuition. Yeah. Yeah. So those stand an opportunity, and also uh, those who are continuing. Mm. Maybe you enrolled, you, you then you got you a dead year. Yeah, you did you one semester. Yeah. Yes. Or mm. you know. So that one also stands the chance to benefit. Mm. And we are also saying uh, we will give an opportunity to one child per family just to be you know. To be fair. Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Yes. And also, um, we, we, we will be giving, um, um, <coughs> the scholarship goes to all fields of study. Mm. We are not saying we will fund only this course. Only and sciences. You know, yeah, when so. we were in high school, they used to tell us, you have to study sciences. Science, the yes. arts are nothing. <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty amazing. And yes. Is it limited <coughs> to any uh, particular universities? Because I might want to go to Cambridge. Uh, it's <laughs> universities in Uganda. Only in Uganda. Yes. Yes. Universities in Uganda. And maybe to add on what Simon said, mm. uh, we are also targeting all the regions where we operate. Mm. Uh, the northern region, the mm. western region, the eastern region, mm. and the central region. So it doesn't so it's matter not only if, Kampala yeah. thing. Yes. if I want to go to Busitema, mm. it doesn't matter. I can go. Yeah. All right. Very or nice. you want to pursue a degree or a mm. diploma. Mm. Yeah. So both you stand a chance to. All right. Yeah. And we'll do um, any course and for the entire duration of the mm. course. And if yeah. Even if it's a five-year course, mm. we'll fund it. And we are financing um, 
institution and we'll remit it to directly to the institution. We now, won't give you cash. There is something they call a uh, hostel fee. Because, <laughs> 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 you know, campus is a very <laughs> tricky place. Yeah. And most people do not necessarily study in their hometowns. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I can come from Kabale, I can come from Gulu, yeah, from I'm Bale, and I'm studying in Makere. Mm. I need to sleep. Yes. Do you cover that too? Uh, we are covering tuition, unfortunately. Yeah. Only, tuition. Only, Only tuition. tuition. So the surplus fees, yeah. it's me to take care of yeah. them. And the functional fees. All right. Yes. We believe we've taken a big burden, mm. so mm. at least you can be able to get that. Now, you mentioned something. Um, the name of the fund is yeah. Plus 10 Education yes. Fund. Yes. What does the Plus 10 mean? Yeah, as I started by saying that, uh, that means we are adding 10 more students to the <laughs> tertiary institution enrollment. So only 10 yes. in 10. the country? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. For now, we are starting with 10. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you have just joined us, I have visitors from Finca Uganda, and we are talking about the Plus 10 Education Fund. Now, mm. Finca Uganda is celebrating 25 years in existence yeah. in Uganda. That is in Uganda only. Mm. And they are saying they are giving back to the customers. You have to be a customer in order for you to uh, qualify for the yes. fund. And they are saying no matter what you want to study, no matter where you want to study, if only it is in Uganda, don't come and say you want to go to Harvard. <laughs> this will not apply. <laughs> this will not apply. Yes. Now, I would like to, again, um, ask you, Simon. So mm. after me submitting... After applying for the fund, mm. uh, I have, I'm a customer, I've, you know, ticked off all the criteria. Mm. How do I apply? Um, thank you. Um, for the applications, mm. um, you could uh, either pick one from any Finca branch, mm. or uh, you, we have one on our website, uh, right. which is uh, www.finca.ug. Mm. So you Can you say that again for the viewers? www.finca.ug. <laughs> <laughs> and Finca is spelled? F-I-N-C-A. Dot U-G. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then you'll be able to download one, mm. uh, fill it, and uh, drop it at any, any branch of Finca. Any, is there a deadline? Yes. Uh, the deadline is 16th of February. Two weeks? Three weeks? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah we, I think we in about three weeks. Three weeks yeah. yeah. All right. That. So after submission? Uh, after submission, uh, we have a committee, mm. a special committee uh, of professionals that is going to do the vetting mm. and uh, go through the whole process until we've come to the... You, you know how many applications tent. you're going to receive, sir? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we are aware of that. Thousands and thousands. Yeah, yeah. And you're picking only 10. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You have to really apply it's, now. It is competitive. <laughs> Good mm. things come with competition. Yes. Is there anything the viewers should know that could give them an edge to win? Not, like really. To be Not yeah. really. It's, ah. it's, it's pretty much the same process. It's, yeah. uh, there's nothing special about it. So the form is really simple. And yeah. <laughs> Maybe just to add on that, uh, mm. I think we are, we are looking for bright people that are underprivileged mm. as much as possible. Mm. So I think one of the things that's going to come out clearly is, is whether you really need the support. Mm. It's not uh, Idris who already is <laughs> privileged. <laughs> uh, but I'm not privileged, the, Robert. The underprivileged. Uh, I need there, funds. We need to really uh, yeah. help out with education. Yeah. So mm. um, number one, uh, even if I'm a customer, yes. but uh, I'm privileged, as you put it, I yes. have money, mm. Yes. then I'm not qualified to apply? You are qualified to apply, mm. but we have a lot of affinity towards uh, those the that need, need yes. the help. Mm. Yes, you, you can apply, but chances are very high that uh, those that can show that they don't have the capacity mm. to continue the education are the ones that are going to How do, do I show? Uh, well, uh, one of the things we are looking at in the application form is you have to state your annual income and, mm. and your occupation, oh. what you do, you know. So if you tell us, Idris, you earn hey. 10 million, you get <laughs> <laughs> Really? Do you Simon, deserve a scholarship? I, I'm going to tell you, I earn 20,000 no, a month. Yeah. Yeah. So if you earn 20,000, then we could, uh, you could qualify. But but Simon, yes, you, let's you know, be fair. This, is, this <laughs> is a very big thing that Finca is, is doing called... Yeah. Of course, education is very important. Mm -hmm. And as Robert put it, 
uh, Mandela said um, education is the key to the key. help in Can the future. And yeah. so many kids in Uganda are failing to be successful or even do something for mm -hmm. themselves because of lack of education. Right. Yes. And in Uganda, we have over 20 million Ugand people. I wonder how many customers Finca has today. Do you know that? Yeah. Uh, it's like about 140,000. 140,000 140, customers. And yes. you're picking 10. Yes. <laughs> I know you're going to have criteria and mm -hmm. breaking them down here and there and that. Mm -hmm. And one of the things you say that uh, people will declare their annual incomes. Mm -hmm. But what if I lie? I what think, if I lie? Uh, because we are going to lie. One of the things that is going to come out uh, clearly yes. is uh, you are going to, to make a write-up mm. of, of why you think you need the support. And this write-up will most likely be made by the student mm. himself. Mm. So from the write-up, it will be clear that this person may need support or not. Uh, but the committee will also do uh, kind of background checks yeah. mm. and we shall go down to, to the ah. village, yes. down to the LC. To the person. Yes, yes. to the person, mm. to the neighbors, to be able to really understand Establish. Idris mm. and whether Idris needs that support. Well, if you have just joined us, uh, we are talking the Plus 10 Education Fund from Finca Uganda who are celebrating 25 years in existence. Now, right about now, the lines are going to be open. You can call in and ask a few questions. This is an opportunity. Only 10 students are going to get a chance to be... Oh, my God. I, it's an opportunity. Because so many families are failing to take their children through education. And Finka is saying, we can support you. Whatever course you're doing, whatever university you're going to, whatever tertiary institution you're going to, we are ready to support you. So call in. Call in and ask the questions that will help you qualify for this fund. Now, again, <clears throat> after the submissions are done, yeah. uh, the qualifications are done, every mm. criteria that you, you have set is mm -hmm. followed. Mm -hmm. How do I know that I'm through or I've qualified? Okay. Um, we will be announcing mm. nationally, just like... Uh, we have announced the launch of the scholarship fund. Mm, mm. Uh, we'll be announcing and publishing the names of those who have qualified. Mm. And um, we will we'll let them know. Um, On through message? Through, through WhatsApp? Message, through <laughs> our social media, um, okay. through, through the media. Mm. I mean, we in print, yeah, and we even over the radio. TV. Yeah, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. No, uh, if you no give problem. Us an opportunity. Yes. And also on radio and, mm. you know, in our branches, we shall publish the list of... Um, the, the people who have won. When, so when should we expect uh, this to be released? In released? March. First in week, March. actually, of March. Uh, uh, that, I by think 6th that's March. 3rd? 9th. Around 3rd. 3rd third, third March. Mm. Yeah. We should be able to. All right. Uh, I think we do have yeah. a caller. Do we have yeah. a caller, Director? All right. So. Okay. Um, Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. What? Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Obenga James. I'm calling from Munyonya. Yes, Obenga James. What's your question? Obenga. Benja. Yeah. <coughs> Obenga. Obenga. What's your question? Yeah. Yeah. It is important to know what I didn't know at first. Mm. I'm not late. So, I have only one question. Yes. Like me as a student now, how could I make it? Me as a lower student, how could I make it to join Finca Uganda and a time I was during the holiday, but I don't have a lot of money. I don't get too much money. But mm. how could I make it and join the Finca Uganda uh, and make a good life? James, you're a student of where? Of St. Denis. Uh, is it a university? Hello? I think we lost James, but yeah. did you got his question? Yes, I think we yes. got James's question. Mm. Uh, how he can make it to join Finca? I think uh, he can open an account with Finca mm. with as low as uh, 10,000 uh, shillings. Mm. If he is a minor, uh, then uh, the, the, the parent or the, the guardian should be able to open up an account mm. uh, on his behalf. But going from the voice, I can tell that uh, he's a he very old man. <laughs> yeah. So if he's above 18, then yes. he just needs 10,000 shillings to pay. 10,000 shillings yeah. and open and up. And he can deposit 1,000, 2,000, mm. and it, it builds up. Oh, wow. Mm. Do we have another caller, Director? Hello? Hello? 
Yes, sir. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm called Tim from Mubaga. You call no. Tim? Tim from Mubaga. Yes, Tim. I'm called Tim from Mubaga. Yes, please step away from your TV set and no, don't try to listen to yourself on TV, eh? Yeah? Okay, I'm called Tim from Mubaga. Tim. And I've, mm. Yeah, and I've just called from, to, uh, to kindly inquire. Yes. Yeah, and I've just called to inquire, how can I join Thinker? If, I've, if I don't have an account from Thinker and I want to qualify for Thinker Education Fund, 10, 10 plus Education Fund. All right, Philip from Ruvaga. Thank you so much. Do we have another caller? <clears throat> Hello? 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 All right, so still the same yes, question. Uh, still the same yeah. question. I yeah. think yeah. Philip uh, open up an account at any of our branches mm. and then you can uh, join Finca. Yeah. and qualify for the education fund. All right. So mm -hmm. uh, we've talked about um, when people should expect their results. Is that a caller? Hello? Hello? All right. So we've talked about when people should expect the results to come yes. out, how to apply, when to apply. Mm. What other services does Finca offer apart from the Plus 10 Education Fund? Um, I think because um, this is an opportunity it seems people do not know yes. what yeah. Finca is all about yeah yes true um, maybe Robert you want to yes uh, Finca about uh, is uh, an institution that uh, is targeting uh, the lower end of the market where I believe is the bracket that uh, gets most of the Ugandans out yeah. there uh, so Finca Uganda offers an opportunity for someone to, to save money uh, on our Finca Easy Savings accounts. We have uh, fixed deposit accounts as well. We talked about the target accounts. We talked about the accounts for, for the youth. Mm. Uh, but more importantly also is an opportunity to, to borrow. Mm. We have different uh, business loans. Uh, we have uh, loans for salary earners. We have loans for, for groups. Yeah. Uh, people can uh, join as, as groups and be able to access uh, credit. Yeah. We offer money transfer uh, services. Uh, we, have, uh, we are part of the internet, uh, we're part of the InterSwitch uh, network, like Simon has uh, talked about already. And I think we are pursuing a digital transformation strategy in Finca, yeah. Uganda. Yeah. So we are, going to, we are looking at the phone as, as uh, a tool for most of the transactions that will be done mm. uh, going forward uh, mm. from this year. So, so you guys have an app that I can make all my transactions on? Yes, we have a mobile <coughs> app, okay. uh, yes, that you can make all your transactions Now, on. the loans, you know, so mm. many people are interested in, <laughs> <laughs> in loans. Yes. Uh, they want to borrow money. Yeah. Uh, are there any uh, uh, criteria that someone should follow, uh, apart from, of course, having an account? Yes. Do I have to have an account anyway? Yes, you Finca. have to have an account with Finca. Mm. That's the starting point. Open up an account with Finca. When it comes to the loans, of course, uh, our loans are, ma are not to startups. Mm. They are mainly to people who demonstrate that they are in business and yeah. uh, they, they can use the money. Mm. So we look out for the capacity to pay. We look out for the collateral. And we look out for what, what projects are you engaged in? What mm. are you going to do with mm. the money? So the number of things that we follow. Yeah. But I think capacity to pay and, and the business that you're involved in are very, very critical. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, if we don't have any caller, hello. Eric? Hello. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, if you have just joined us, we are talking about the Plus 10 Education Fund from Finca Uganda, who are celebrating 25 years. And they're saying that you have the ability to continue with your school to go to university, to go to any tertiary institution and acquire education. And they're saying they will support you. Hmm? Yeah. All right. So, <coughs> do we have a caller? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. Good morning. Morning to you. Is this NTV? Yes, it is NTV. <laughs> What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Busia. Yes, yes. you are? And. I'm Majimbo Poli Siraj. Oh, Siraj. What's your question? We are talking about the Plus 10 Fund from Finca, Uganda. 
Yeah. Mm. I'm very happy that. Uh, I'm very happy that you have started that program mm. and uh, I've been getting uh, loans to, uh, to, to supplement the education of my daughters yes. and specifically I'm from Majanj. Mm. And I know that uh, since you've come up you will help us why in rural they need it, mm. at least to, to let our children also progress. I thank the management of Busia branch. Mm -hmm. Really, some of those questions they have taken us through. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I just wanted to appreciate. Do you have an account with Finca Uganda? Yes, please. Yeah, have you applied for the fund? Yeah, yeah definitely. Chat. We are going to do it. That's why I'm appreciating. <laughs> hey, you're welcome, Mr. Siraj. <laughs> and remember the deadline. The deadline is on? 16th. 16th February. 16th February. Yeah. So hurry, hurry up and apply. <laughs> yes, and my daughters, when you will see Rehem Mama Jimbo, that is the, the figure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> now, now you're giving us a break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, sir, for calling. <clears throat> From Busia, oh wow! So you have branches in Busia, yes, yes. and uh, Mbali. Yeah. Oh wow! Yes, I think uh, Asiraj is an example of uh, one of our Hello? customers already. Yes, good morning. Good morning, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? No, I'm calling from Port from Charles. Your Charles from Fort Porto. Uh, yes, please. yes, Charles. What's your question? Um, uh, based on my knowledge, I mm. um, think has a lot of branches in different districts. Yes. And you're having it have to take only 10 people to yeah. qualify for scholarship. Yes. Don't you think those people are still basing on the branches you're having? Mm. All right. Do you, uh, do you have an account with Finca Uganda? Not yet, but I'm in the process. Mm. Hey, hurry up. The, the deadline is February 16th. <laughs> okay. All right, sir. Thank you so much for your question. Do we have another caller? All right, so the question is... I think, uh, why 10? Why 10? Plus you 10. have so many yeah. branches yeah. in the country. Yeah. Over, so over 100,000 customers. Mm. Yes, I think why 10 is... Mm. Uh, 10 is, is a good number. Mm. So it's, a, it's an even number, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and, but you're becoming uh, a politician <laughs> now. <laughs> and then it's, it's the starting point. Yes. Uh, 10 is the starting point. We yeah. know the need is quite immense. Yeah. Uh, but we know we can do more, mm. and uh, we shall review this after a certain period of time to see how many additional scholarships uh, we can give. So, in other words, we there is hope for lot, more numbers. A lot numbers. of hope for more numbers mm. uh, going by the success of the first mm. 10. Yes. So, because people. Let the clients pe continue supporting us. <laughs> as we grow, we can grow the funds. The, well. There is one thing that I think we didn't talk about mm. the 10 that have qualified. Mm. If I qualify, mm -hmm. I have an account with mm -hmm. Finca. Can I with, withdraw my account since I've qualified? No. I think it's difficult for you to withdraw the account because, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, you will have benefited. Yes. And you, the moment you join Finca, yeah. you can't run away from Finca mm -hmm. because you're going to see the benefits uh, that accrue to you mm -hmm. uh, just being a customer of Finca. And then also, uh, we, we, shall, we shall also ensure that uh, mm. transactions go through uh, the finger that, account, the finger account. Uh, that you have. Yeah. When we are paying the institution, we shall pay direct to the institution. Mm. And as we are paying direct, uh, then uh, your account, of course, is, is used to make that payment or something. So like is that. it so basically a requirement that if you qualify, yes, 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 you yes. have to stay with you will have you to stay with us. Because yeah. people are very shady. Yeah. <laughs> they, might, they will say, ah, since mm. I've qualified, let me run away. Mm. And one thing I think the viewers are not understanding, and mm. probably that's why they are complaining, that mm. they are saying, mm. only 10, only 10, only, only 10. Because yes. the 10, mm. each person is going to spend three years. Three, yeah. three, three to five, five years. Five, five years. years. Yes. And Finca is saying you're going to support this person throughout the three years. Throughout. So, per se, let's say a uh, child is doing medicine. Yeah. Mm. Medicine nowadays is very expensive at, camp, at, at, at university. Yeah. You might find even a, 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 a term, mm. let me call it a term, a mm. semester, semester. is semester. about... 2.5 2, 2, 2, 2, million, 2. Shillings, yeah. million shillings yeah. and mm. in a year That's that is about six, huh? yeah. six to seven eight shillings. nine ten mm. yeah. and time was three years yes mm. 
So it's quite a lot 10. of money. Yeah. Times 10. Times 10. Oh, wow. Yeah, times yeah. 10. Well, do we have a caller before we wrap up? Hello? Hello. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello? Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? What's your name and where are you calling from? My oh. name is Bashir. Bashir. Yes. Where are you calling from, Bashir? From Kawempe. From Kawempe. What's your question? Okay, my question is... Hmm. Bashir? Bashir? I think we lost, lost Bashir. Lost Bashir. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we could go to our Kawempe branch and yes. get more information. <laughs> yeah. Bashir, if you're in Kawempe, there is a branch for Finca Uganda. Yes. Yeah. Go there and ask and get more information on Finca. So, as we wrap up, yes. Mr. Robert, I'll yes. ask you to give us a, a few last words yes. before we say goodbye to. So, first of all, uh, we want to appreciate our customers mm. who have supported us for the last 25 years. Mm. Going into 26 years now, right. uh, we have achieved a lot as Finca Uganda. Okay. And that's why we're able to give back to the community. Mm. So we are calling upon all our customers to, to continue supporting us. Mm. We are calling upon those who have not yet joined Finca mm. to join Finca. Mm. I think Siraje is, is a very good example of the very many customers that mm. are happy mm. already with Finca. Mm. So we are calling upon you to join Finca, open an account, uh, qualify for the scholarship, but also do many things to get us out, get us out of poverty. Mm. We are looking at transforming lives. We are looking at people creating wealth. We are looking at people going out of poverty as Finca. So we want you to come and build tomorrow together as Finca Uganda. Simon? Okay. Um, <clears throat> really to thank our customers who have mm. been with us especially for the last uh, 25 years mm -hmm. i can say really when we look <coughs> back uh, we see a mission accomplished mm -hmm. uh, because as robert said our mission is to uh, see that our clients uh, standards of living improve mm. through employment through mm. increased assets through mm. education mm. and uh, actually education why we came up with this is, is, is because it's part of our uh, corporate social responsibility. Mm. You know, it's one of the areas that we focus on. And so uh, this, this, we believe, is something that is going to transform our communities. Mm. And when we look back and see where our clients started from, you know, someone borrowing 50,000 mm. Uganda shillings back in 1992, and when you look at them today, one is borrowing maybe about 100 million shillings or no more. More. So they have really grown. And mm. this is the impact that we are proud of in mm. our communities. Mm. And we shall continue to improve on this and to work for the better of our country and our clients. Mm. Yeah, so well, we so many people uh, must have heard about the Plus 10 fund and yeah. would like to get probably in contact with you. Yes. If I'm not able to come to your uh, offices yes. or your bank, yeah. uh, yeah. banks around yeah. the branches around the country, yeah. Yeah. What other way am I able to? Okay, please, um, as I said earlier, uh, on our website, you can download a form. Uh, or alternatively, you could call us directly. Uh, we have a toll-free line, 0800-262-2222. Um, mm -hmm. I have it here, 0800-262-2222. Yeah, or 0772-429-904. Or zero seven five two four two nine nine zero four, and this is everyday life. Now we have yeah. been talking about the plus ten education fund from Finca Uganda, and they're saying go apply. The deadline is February sixteenth, so be sure to go to any Finca branch around the country and find out more information now. Up next is Mwasu Zemutia, and you can continue the conversation on our website, www.ntv.co.ug, or on our Facebook page, NTV Uganda, that is also on Twitter. Or you can go to Morning at NTV, that is also on Twitter and Facebook. You can talk to me on Idris Matu, that is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we can continue the conversation. Have a very good morning, and bye-bye.